Welcome back to another episode of Damachi. This is the part of the video where I do a quick recap of the previous episode to remind myself what happened. But if you want to jump to the reaction, timestamp below. What did happen last time? That was just yesterday. Galewind is being framed as a murderer, and it seems like she did murder them. I think it's, it's a, it's a, it's a debate of morality. That the, if if a group of people were to kill your family. Would you want vengeance? And if you were to achieve the vengeance by killing them, even if they were on the path of atonement, does it make it right? I don't know. It's not a perfect world. I'm not here to debate the ethics. I think if I was Ryu, I think I'd do the same thing. I'd be like, no, fuck you. I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm here to hunt you guys down. I hope that while you're atoning and you think that you're at your happiest, I'll get you then. I'm being kind of crazy. No, 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 no. But that's what she's doing right now. But for some reason, they're all in the lower floor. We do meet Marie, and Marie says that there's some kind of monster here that's never been seen before. So again, another variant of Moss Huge, some other intelligent monster that's going to be a big threat, probably has to do with the premonition of Cassandra. And judging by the little... There was a scene of a snake being shown with like red eyes. That combined with severe plight... Severe plight kind of makes me think of poison. That combined with like the premonition scene where everybody seems to be just like dying. They're bleeding out, but I could see that they're poisoned. I mean, I can't tell, but it looks like they're like, oh, just kind of shocked and dying. And maybe there's poison involved. Maybe it is a snake that's supposed to be the monster, the calamity. That's, I don't know. That is part of... Cassandra's premonition or we're just being faked out I like to believe that that's the case I think that's probably a snake monster at the end we do have a little stare down between Ryu because Belle's not because like we're Belle's now kind of protecting the guy that she's trying to murder like I think it's deserved I think it's justified but of course it's Belle he's a hero he can't be a shitty person like that. he can't just like you know what Ryu here, here you are I won't stand in your way you can just kill a person right in front of me and I won't even blink an eye no that doesn't fit with his theme, right? He's gotta, he's gotta do his best. If even if that means fighting Ryu, I don't think the fight will happen that long. I think we'll get a couple of clashes. I think there'll be some cool scenes, but then the snake will intervene and then start of the premonition. Of what Cassandra said is my guess. Let's watch today's episode. You're in the way, Belle. You gonna fight her? You gotta fight her at this rate. But I think the snake is gonna again interrupt them before things get too heated. I don't think she could ever kill Belle though. Uh, could she? She's, she's talking a lot of shit, but I feel like if it came to it, she couldn't. Nope, no ma'am. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Probably. She won't answer though. I mean, does it really matter? I mean, that's how all, this all started, it, and she was there. You know, I'm still banking on the 1% chance that it wasn't her and someone that mimicked... Okay! So then it is confirmed it's, that it wasn't her. Because, like, we intentionally mentioned. What if somebody, in like, you know, made attacks on the, on, on the slits on, her, on the wrists and the ankles, right? And to make it seem like it was Ryu. Because someone mentioned that, I'm like, the fuck? What? Explain yourself. Ryu, kill him. Explain what the cat is, though. I don't understand why you're going out of your way to do this. The fuck? Oh. Can you heal his ear back? I want to see his ear grow back from that potion. No, well, it just closes the wound off, I guess. Okay, okay, we're back with Ryu. Okay, we're on a good side again. Thank you. Oh god. I hope that she wasn't angry with us, man. No one here to help him. He's got one arm, but he looks pretty confident. He's a monster tamer. What other monsters are here? That's a rock. That ain't a monster. What the fuck? What? What? Which monster escaped? This is the calamity. This is the thing that's supposed to be bigger than... The man to a monster from the deep. They just fucking escaped the prison. This, this is all Jira's grand plan to lure out Ryu and I guess kill her so that they don't get hunted down. There's a snake. Oh no. 
if this really is, you know, the monster behind the the, the premonition, the snake is already here, rather than, you know, where Bell is, then us getting separated meant nothing, you know? What is that? I'm gonna, this is more of a threat though, compared to Moss here. It's just on the basic nature of it being like a, not a Moss, you know, I, I, I know Moss Huge was a, was a big threat, right? But I just couldn't take it seriously because it was a moss. Flowing water, and they should have a field. Wait, 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 but the premonition! Everybody was fucked up near a body of water. If we go there, we're... We're... we're it's gonna happen. Oh, I should, like, push you off. You're too slow! Just pushing four people at once! What if we just kill this guy first? Instead of fighting the snake, we just dodge the snake and we go directly for Jura. Because right now, I'm, I, I get it. The, the snake is making a lot of commotion. We can't simply just get to him, but I feel like we're not even trying to get to Jura right now. Just kill him, yes, but then I guess the snake... This is what you should have done from the beginning, but then the snake... Why is it so fast? That was like slow motion and it was... Okay, she's fine. That could have been a lot worse. I'm surprised she didn't take much damage from that. It's gotta do with the necklace around him. There was like a little or yellow stone. There. It is. Oh, okay. It's part of that too. Magic item. It's just an OP magic item you're getting carried by. Any monster. Really? Any monster? I mean, this is probably one of the deeper floor monsters that we've ever seen before, but... This motherfucker, we should have killed him when we had the chance, man. Well, how about you guys slaughtering, you know, Ryu's family? Like, what? <laughs> Where's the logic? Who started this? What a pussy. That's why I'll have this monster do it instead of me because I can't do anything. Yeah, fuck off, dude. Hello. Okay. The wealth and... No, what? The other guy. I guess I should have needed... Okay, I, I guess to more round it up, right? Okay. I thought it would be Aisha getting it, but she's already strong enough. Might as well get the other guy in. Gotcha, gotcha. So it was framed by them to basically get a hunt party, Alan. Necessary sacrifice, I guess. And you killed him. This guy is so fucked in the head, man. This guy is so fucked in the head. No, not really. The 80 million bounty. <laughs> the 80 million bounty was a compelled of more. We haven't even used like one single firebolt yet. Maybe you can argue that it's too fast to land it. She's chanting something. The fuck? Now if only uh if only uh Haruhime could do the same thing right now. Like move and dodge while chanting the spell. <laughs> Cause Kokono it takes like 10 minutes and she's like she's stationary. Okay, okay. But what does this mean though? What are you doing? Oh. Argo Firebolt. Man, why can't- We should just fucking been using that from the beginning, man. She's glowing in green. Luminous Wind. Just a flurry of magic attacks, okay. It's looking like it's going down pretty easy. But so far, my guess for the premonition, it, it's not these monsters, then. it's something entirely different, huh? Because everything's going pretty well so far, on both sides. We feel like we're winning, and then psych, the actual premonition is here. Coach! Oh, she's opened her eyes! It will, because she opened her eyes. Oh. Wait, did she try to hit the... Hey, it was good enough. I forget that Aisha has these crazy spells, man. He headed the snake. Okay.
Okay, easy. I mean, it took a lot of, you know, combined effort, but we still did it. But don't, don't, no, 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 don't get relaxed. I feel like the real deal hasn't shown up yet. No, exactly. It's exactly something else is coming. And also during her premonition, the monster had like a slim shadow like shape, you know, like it had, it's hard to describe. It's, yeah, it's okay. So, no, something big is coming, man. Something big is coming, man. Distraction for the real deal. Well, what's it? What is it though? Like, what? What? what the fuck are they doing? Huh? Bunch of more explosions. Are there monsters like stuck in the walls? Or what are we doing? Like, is your trump card really just to blow shit up here? And just like die from the crumbling rocks? Like, that's it? Received as a singular floor. The dungeon becomes delirious? And then it enrages some monster to come out? The despair. What's this one? So, what's coming then? What's coming? Just please kill him. Just please kill him. This is a five year plan in the making. I see, I see. So what did he trigger though? I'm really- What is a dungeon summon? Man, the look on your face is more of a mess. Ryu seems to recognize maybe or no? Do you know what's coming? What do you mean not again? That thing. Is this all uh, stuff from like season one of her past that I forgot or... I swear to god, if we get a fucking cliffhanger and we don't get to see the shape of the monster that's been summoned, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Something is coming, but... A banquet of tragedy is here, but so is it... Don't just show me the eyes! Show me the entire... Fuck you! Fucking cliffhangers, dude. Like, at least show me the fucking shape of it. So, the... The, 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 so what I guessed as the snake being, you know, like a fake out that did come true. The real deal is this monster that Jura has somehow summoned. What's the most interesting thing that I didn't realize is how the explosions on the floors of the dungeon can basically be perceived as like the dungeons like, oh, no, we're in danger because like the dungeon some kind of, I don't know, some kind of entity that takes damage. And it's like, all right, we got to do something to go against it. So this is a five year plan in the making. And we summon despair. Ryu seems to recognize what it is, saying it's that thing again, right? The only thing that could, I can really make a connection to is like the Black Goliath that Ryu was fighting in the, in, you know, in the in like the previous seasons, right? So another one of that, I guess, is coming, really. But from her memories, that thing was huge. And in the flashback scenes of fighting the Black Goliath, right? That thing was huge. From Cassandra's premonition. What we saw was like a very slim, shadow-like creature. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but but it's here, and everybody should have listened to Cassandra. But it didn't happen. Why? Because if we skip the premonition, then where's the fun content, right? Despair is what we're waiting for. Jiro, man, ugh, this motherfucker. He's I. It's I. I hate him so much. I, I hate him so much, man. I just despise him so much. I'm sure he's gonna meet his end. Like he. It, Usually what happens in these kind of like shows, right, is like the bad guy summons some kind of evil being, you know, to lay disaster in the world. And the bad guy that summoned it is the one that dies first by that evil being, right? Like, remember like, like in like Dragon Ball Z too, like when we summoned Majin Buu, didn't like Bobbity, like the first person to die was Bobbity, right? I forget, was it like that? Or was it someone, was it later on? Regardless, no, no, it was later on. He did die though later, but I hope Jura's gonna die. I not a swift death. No, no, no. It's gotta be a slow and painful death. He's gotta bleed out. Uh, so I did. So all that dialogue was truly important. You know how they made sure that, oh, these attacks looks like Ryu did it. It's like, hmm, really? Now, I mean, nobody saw Ryu actually kill them, but you're gonna say that it, it kind of looks like it. And someone mentioned, what if somebody intentionally tried to make it look like it was Ryu's attacks on all these people that were murdered? Fucking Jura 
actually sacrificed his own people just for this plan. His plan of vengeance actually was even deeper rooted than Ryu's plans for vengeance. We got a little bit of an Uno reverse card at the end, but if it means for good content, if it means for despair in the next episodes, I'm ready for it. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other playlist and video in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to buckle push on my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.